Hey, what is up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan, and this is Dylan's DIY Workshop. And today, I'm hitting you up with another wood-burning video that's not wood-burning, it's actually drawing on a rock. So I just confused the intro to that video because this is like the fourth video I've filmed today because I'm going on a camping trip. And I promised you guys that I was going to do the 60 videos in 30 days and I was going to fulfill it. And I'm working very hard right now to make sure that happens. It's only 2 a.m. right now and I have to be up at 7 and I still have to film two videos and have three edited. So it's going to be insanely difficult. I might end up just staying up until like 8 o'clock, driving to Alyssa's and then going to sleep. Basically, I had the idea of painting on a rock, and that's because my girlfriend Alyssa showed me some rocks that she showed, showed me what she did to it, and she painted on them. I was like, you know what? That looks like a lot of fun. Now I want to paint on a rock. And also, my grandma's painted on rocks before, and I thought, you know, maybe it's my turn to paint on a rock. So I found this rock just sitting upstairs because I collect rocks all the time and just put them places. And so I found this one, and this is the one we're going to use today. So what do you paint on a rock, I guess, is the question some people would have. And... Quite personally, I don't know, and I'm not really much into paint, like painting flowers. I, I could. I don't have the, the steady painting hand to do that. Well, I could paint a bunch of things. The things that I'm thinking of right now are either the YouTube logo or the Triforce. And the Triforce literally just came to me, and I do have gold paint, so um, goodbye YouTube logo. We all know what's coming. So I keep all of my enamel paint in here, and so they all kind of, they're like little jars like this. And they're like four bucks each, three or four, three or four bucks each. That sand color, uh, gold. Ooh, I don't have very much gold left. I should have another gold here, actually. Oh yeah, guys, I remember this color. Look how pow that is. I love all of these paint colors. Oh my goodness. So let's see. Let's put all of these back in here. Boom, done. And let's use the gold for the Triforce. Now to make the Triforce, we're just gonna take a ruler or heck, even any straight edge. I'm just gonna use this block of wood because it's in reaching distance. And I was told one time, sometimes the best tool for the job is the one you can reach. So what we're gonna do is, let's see if this pencil will mark on the, the stone first. And yeah, it does. So pencil is what we're gonna use. And can it erase? Yes, it can, perfect. So I'm gonna figure out what orientation I want this rock in. And I'm feeling like, this way right here. And actually, does this not look like a ditto Pokemon? Could you imagine painting that up as a ditto? I could. Now I kind of feel sad that I'm just putting the Triforce on it because it could be a ditto. But, but I mean, there'll be more ditto rocks out there, right? Yeah. All right, so let's draw this on here. I'm going to go with this orientation and I'm just gonna make a side length from here to here. I just marked out, there's my ruler, fancy dancy. See, two different lines. We're gonna go from there to there. And then we're gonna go on what feels like a 60 degree angle to like there. And then we're gonna see if it fits by marking up the other side. And guess what? It's close enough. I'd say that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Maybe bigger? Yeah, bigger. No, you know what? That's good, that's, that's good. I'm liking that. And now we just go like this. Shkabooshki. And we take the little eraser here. Kaboosh. Okay, guys. So that is drawn on there. Now the next step, I don't know if you guys have figured it out yet, but we take our paint, we shake it all up, and it should be, should be, should be, should be. This is, this is the trick here. Should be good. Now, here comes a tip. I use toothpicks. When I want to make a really fine line, I use a toothpick when I'm using this acrylic paint. So... It's all mixed up, which is good. Now I'm going to use it to draw on a little straight line. Well, I met a girl down at the bar. She said, I recognize you, baby, think I know who you are. Said, I recognize you too. You're looking kind of cute and big. You're the type of girl I like to stand next to. Why don't you give me your number? I'll call you sometime. Said, is that the best you got? You gotta use a better line. I'm not your average too. Run on the mill. City girl, pretty girl, jump. Looking for a thrill. I'm a redneck woman. Knows what she wants. And if you ain't up for the challenge, better take a walk. I said, ain't nothing in the world that I can't do. If I can climb above a mountain, I'm sure I can get with you. She said, come back next week. 
Then we can speak. I just ain't got you figured out. I need to get a better read, so I keep it so on. All right, guys, there we go. That's how easy it was. And so I just used this toothpick to paint on the, the paint. I could have used paint brushes, but by the time I got the paint on there to just dry on the edges, it was just as easy to just drop a blob in the middle and be done with it. So that is how you paint the Triforce on a rock. Now, I want you guys to comment down below. Do you think that I should turn this into like a necklace or something? Something that you could wear like this? I don't know. Like, what do you guys want me to do with this? Do you want me to try to put the Hylian crest? I hope I said that right, Highland. Do you want me to put that crest? I have a wood burning of it up there, that's why I'm looking up there. Would you like me to put that on here full scale so you'd only see just a bit of it and it'd look like it came crumbling out of a rock? Is that, would you like to see that? So comment down below what you think about that. But guys, this is how you paint on a rock. This is just acrylic model car paint. And you can get that for about two or three bucks for each one of these and you can pick any color. So you can get a color for any different thing and those will last a long time especially if you're doing small stuff like this I find they're great for painting for stuff that's gonna need to be weatherproof because it's an enamel so it's gonna stay if water's running on it the same kind of paint cars are painted with pretty well so guys if you did not know and I mentioned this earlier I'm doing a 60 videos in 30 days challenge which means each of my channels gets a new video every single day for 30 days straight so if you didn't know that I had a vlog channel a second channel that's a lot smaller please go check that out it's just called Dylan Taylor. There's a link to it in the description. That would help me out a whole bunch. Honestly, I have the biggest passion for making videos for that channel. I love waking up and filming for it. So if you guys could please support me over there, that would mean the world to me. And again, the link to that channel is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope you took something from this. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all next time. Peace out.